Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so very excited to hang out with you today. In today's video, we are going to be doing a May reading wrap up and a June TBR. So I always feel the need to do the videos like individually, like I can only make like a May wrap up, June TBR, but I'm like, if I'm not reading like a ton of books like 10 books a month then i can just put the two together and make one video and so i barely made that realization so i hadn't been making any reading wrap ups so in today's video that is what we are going to be doing the first book that i read in may was mary jane by jessica anya blau and i am so obsessed with this book it was so good i rated it a five star it was just a masterpiece i just loved it so much i was able to read it really really fast i have a kindle and mary jane is on kindle unlimited so i just swapped back and forth from reading it on the physical copy and on the kindle and let me tell you i was just recovering in april from a major reading slump and reading back and forth on my kindle and on paperback helped so much i would say Reading it on my Kindle and paperback is what cured my reading slump. It was so hard to read. It was horrible. I did not want to read at all. I didn't read for multiple days straight. I noticed that when I read Layla by Colin Hoover and I was swapping back and forth between the Kindle and on the paperback, it helped me read it that much more faster. And that's what I've been wanting to do with every book that I've been reading since. So Mary Jane was on Kindle Limited, so I went back and forth. This book was so uh, amazing the main character her name is mary jane and she's 14 years old and it's the 1970s in baltimore her family is very strict and like conservative christian and like chew with your mouth closed don't put your elbows on the table god forbid you say any cuss words god forbid you wear anything that's shorter than above your knee then she ends up getting a nanny job for a family that's basically the complete opposite so the dad is a psychiatrist the mom is a stay-at-home mom and since the dad is a psychiatrist it says this in the synopsis they actually end up having a rock star and the like movie star famous wife move in for the summer and so since mary jane is the nanny for the summer and they're moving in for the summer they're, they're all together you can imagine like conservative christian is completely opposite from a rock star and she ends up realizing that there's so much more out there than what she thought i think that the author just did such an amazing job writing this book i kept saying to my boyfriend and i was recommending this book to my little sister i was like if you search up what is the definition of a vibe this book pops up like this was such a vibe i love reading historical fiction and like in specific the 70s i think it's so much fun it just completely takes you into that world and like you completely escape and just are invested in the story and it's just so much fun and also i just recently started listening to whatever book that i'm reading i like search up the playlist on um, Spotify. A lot of the books have playlists already made on there and since there's a rock star in the book a lot of music gets um, brought up and in that playlist on Spotify it shows the song that they were talking about. Oh I had so much fun reading the book like they would talk about for example it was Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Oh, that was so much freaking fun and then I would just like play the playlist like on shuffle and just read it and it was just so much freaking fun. Highly recommend five stars Mary Jane such a good freaking book so i try to read two to three books a month and so currently right now i have like a week left into may and i'm trying to like bang out one more book but i'm currently reading two more right now so the first book that i want to talk about this is the first book that i started reading after mary jane is the help by katherine stockett wow I absolutely love this book so much already. I'm only like 100 pages in. I would say like maybe 150 because I started reading it on my Kindle. It is not on Kindle Unlimited, but I literally bought it on my Kindle today because I just love reading it on my Kindle so much. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you that 
when I bought it this morning, when I woke up, I already read like five more pages than I already did just from when I woke up, like in my morning. And then when I was having breakfast, I read like another five pages. And usually I would just be on my phone the entire time. I love my Kindle so freaking much. I have been really obsessed with her recently because she is the reason I could get her a kiss. She is the reason why I was able to get out of my reading slump. Wow. I am a huge fan of the movie. I love it. I love Emma Stone. I love the rest of the uh, actors in the movie. I think it is so good. I remember when I watched it when I was younger, I loved it so much. And I've watched it over and over again since then. And so when I found out that the movie came from the book, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to read the book. And it's historical fiction. I'm a huge fan of historical fiction. I really enjoy reading and learning more about the characters in the book. I'm just so excited to finish this book. It's so amazing. It's so sad. It's so moving. It's so touching. I'm not even halfway with the book and I already highly recommend. I think it's so, so good and I'm so excited to finish. I was really in the mood of reading a romance and so I decided to pick up a romance and like swap with reading two books at once. And so I ended up picking up If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nowlin. And this is exactly what I am in the mood for. It's a YA, it's romance, it's really easy to read. And this book is also on Kindle Unlimited. So I actually have the help and this book downloaded on my Kindle Unlimited and I'm just swapping back and forth from them. I think it's so much fun to read multiple books at once. I like to just have one book that I'm like dedicated to, but I also like right now, I'm in the mood for historical fiction, but I'm also in the mood for some romance. And so I love just swapping from back and forth. I started this book yesterday and I am 50 pages in and I am really enjoying it so far. It's supposed to crush your heart. It's supposed to rip it out, stomp on it, spit on it, punch it, and put it back into place. It's supposed to be really, really, really sad, and I'm excited for that. And since, of course, I haven't finished either of them, I will give you guys my full review next month when I have finished them. I already have been able to relate to the story a lot too. She talks about middle school and like the cliques and the little groups that happen in school and like the cool thing and the weird thing to do in school and I've already been able to relate to it and it's just like giving me a little bit of PTSD. I'm like, oh my gosh, middle school sucked. And it's like taking me back to that time, but I'm also like being able to relate to it and enjoy it at the same time. Now to the books that I want to read in June. I am so excited to finally dive into these books. I have heard so many good things about it. My little sister read the entire series and she actually read like the last two books in like a week. She devoured it and so it made me that much more excited to read it and she kept telling me, she read it in February and she kept telling me, read it, read it, read it, read it. And I was like, no, I had to wait for the summer. I just want to wait for the summer. Like I feel like it'll be such a vibe and I don't get to go to the beach this summer, but if I can read books about being at a beach house I'll take it so the first book is it happened one summer and the second book is it's not summer without you and the third we will always have summer and these are romance these are YA and I think it might be a love triangle I think it's two brothers that she has a crush on which I think is so much freaking fun like imagine being 16 going to your beach house for the summer and seeing these cute brothers and like yeah, having a crush on both of them and i get to like live through this character like i feel like it would be so much fun like tee -hee 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 -hee. like you have a crush on both of these boys but uh, i'm just so excited and so many people have raved about it so many people say that it's so good it just takes you into this wonderful world where it's just like sun and the beach and how many times am i gonna see the sun and the beach like oh i love the sun and the beach and so reading about it would just be so much freaking fun another thing that i love about these books is that they're all really short the first book is 276 pages so i'm assuming that the rest are less than 300 and i love short books it makes you feel really accomplished and it makes you feel like you're reading the books really fast and i also feel like it helps you read the book really fast so i'm excited about that and it's ya so automatically it makes it easier to read so i just feel like i'm going to devour this series and i'm so excited too so now i'm going to read the synopsis so it says when each summer begins belly leaves her school life behind and escapes to cousin's beach the place she has spent every summer of her life I imagine that that'd be so cool not only does the beach house mean home away from home but her favorite people are there susanna her mother's best friend and her sons conrad and jeremiah 
Bailey has been chasing Conrad for as long as she can remember, and more than anything, she hopes this summer will be different. Despite distractions from a new guy named Cam and lingering looks from Conrad's brother Jeremiah, Bailey's heart belongs to Conrad. Will he offer his to her? Will this be the summer that changes everything? Oh my god, it's gonna take me back to middle school when you have like three different crushes all at once. <laughs> it's gonna be so much freaking fun. Let's wrap up on all the books that I have read and I'm currently reading, and then all the books that I want to read next month. Ah, oh, it's June next month. It's June next week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. June and July. I thrive in June and July. I love the summer so freaking much. I love reading. I love summer. We love books about summer. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have read any of these books or want to read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments. Let's chat about books in the comments. I don't know, I've been talking for so long I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.